Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Andrew. Today, I'm doing my full review on the all-new Lenovo IdeaPad U530 touchscreen laptop. All right, let's get started. For early 2014, Lenovo introduces the all-new IdeaPad U530 touchscreen laptop. This new model includes the NVIDIA GeForce GT730M and Windows 8.1 out of the box. Is this laptop worth your hard-earning bucks? Let's take a look. Let's start by breaking down the specs. This laptop features a 4th generation Intel Core i7-4500U. For the integrated graphics, we have an Intel HD 4400. For the dedicated graphics, we have an NVIDIA GeForce GT730M. For the display, we have a 15.6 inch Full HD 10 point multi touch touchscreen display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. For the storage, we have a 2 in 1 drive featuring a 1TB 5400 RPM hard drive and a 16GB SSD for the cache, 8GB of RAM, and for the weight, it comes in at 5.07 pounds, and the retail price of this laptop is $899. Next up, let's test out the boot speed on this laptop. This laptop features a 1TB 5400 RPM hard drive and a 16GB SSD. And the results are in. This laptop booted up in about 18 seconds. Next up, let's talk about the design and build quality. The design looks very slick. From the precision cutouts of the trackpad to the metal housing, this laptop looks stunning. My only issues on the build quality was the panel on top. The plastic design feels a tad flimsy. I just wish Lenovo went with a full metal design on this laptop. Speaking of build quality, let's test out the keyboard flex here. Let me go ahead and put some pressure on the keyboard. The keyboard is just a tad flimsy as well. Next up, let's take a look at the ports here on the left side of the laptop. Here you got your Lenovo One Key Recovery System, Ethernet port, HDMI output, USB 3.0 port, and a headset port. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the right side of the laptop. Here you got your AC charging port, two USB 2.0 ports, and an SD card reader. Next up, let's test out the viewing angles on this 15.6 inch LED backlit touchscreen display. Alright, let's get started. Let me go and rotate to the left. Starting to fade now. The side viewing angles on this laptop was about average. Alright, let's go and rotate the laptop back to the center. Next up, we're going to test out the viewing angles by tilting the display all the way back. Alright, here we go. As you can see here, the viewing angles were not that good. Next up, let's test out the touchscreen performance on this 10-point multi-touch display. Let's go ahead and go to the desktop. Let me go ahead and launch Internet Explorer and go to the MSN website. Let's scroll all the way down. Pitch to zoom and multi-touch gestures have been working flawlessly on this laptop. Let's go ahead and scroll down here and let's take a look at some cars. Let me go ahead and zoom in on the text. It's very smooth. Let's see how well this panel responds to some of my gestures. Looking good so far. Take a look at these cars for 2014. The display quality on this panel was about average. Colors look fairly accurate and texts were crisp. However, occasionally some images would look washed out compared to my Dell XPS 15 which has the same resolution of 1920 by 1080. I know both of these laptops aren't on the same level. However, just for a quick comparison, let me go ahead and zoom in and show you the difference. Let me get you a close up shot of these panels. The Dell XPS 15 on the left looks more accurate and less washed out compared to the Lenovo. Let me show you a couple of images so you can see the difference. This one was the most noticeable one out of all of them. Next up, let's see how well the motion control works on the new Lenovo U530 laptop. Let me go and wave to the left. So far, pretty accurate. Let's go to the right side now. Very accurate as well. Overall, I've been highly impressed with the Lenovo motion control on this laptop. Next up, let's talk about keyboard performance. This laptop features a standard full keyboard as well as a 10 key numeric keypad. Volume and brightness keys can be activated without hitting the function button. Typing on this keyboard took me a while to get adjusted. I just wish there was a little more key travel and more feedback from these keys. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Take a look at the key travel performance. I just wish Lenovo raised it slightly higher. Next up, let's take a look at the backlit keyboard on the new U530. There's only one option, either on or off. Overall, the brightness levels from the keyboard were about average. Not too bright and not too dim. Next up, let's talk about trackpad performance. The trackpad was pretty good. Two finger scrolling and multi-touch gestures were smooth. I just wish there was more feedback when clicking the button down. Other than that, this is a solid trackpad. Next up, let's talk about speaker performance. The sound quality from these bottom facing speakers were about average. Once the volume was turned up to about 85%, I started to experience distortion of some of the music I was playing. Next up, let's talk about CPU performance. The Intel Core i7-4500U is clocked at 1.8GHz with a turbo boost up to 3GHz for one active core 
or 2.7 GHz for two active cores. From day-to-day -day activities like word processing, watching HD videos, and even playing light to medium duty games, this CPU was up to the task. Let's take a look at some Geekbench 3 performance scores. For the single core score I got 2,792. For the multi-core score I got 5,433. Next up let's take a look at Cinebench R15. For the CPU I got a score of 263 CB. Next up let's take a look at the Nvidia GeForce GT730M. This is a 64-bit dedicated GPU that features 2GB of DDR3 memory. With this GPU many of today's light to medium duty games will be playable on low settings. For example, I was able to get around 38 frames per second on Battlefield 4 with low settings. However, I was only able to get around 27 frames per second on medium settings. Next up is test out the OpenGL performance on the Nvidia GeForce GT730M and the results are in. For the OpenGL we got 47 frames per second. For the best performance I would recommend you to update to the latest GeForce 334.89 driver. Next up let's talk about battery performance. On average I was able to get around 4.5 to 5.5 hours out of a full charge with screen brightness at around 70%. Way short of Lenovo's claim of up to 10 hours. Next up let's test out the hard drive and SSD performance using Crystal Dismart. For the sequential read speed I was able to get around 97.41 megabytes a second and the sequential write speeds came in at 103.4 megabytes a second. While these speeds are nothing to write home about, they offer slightly better performance than a traditional 5400 RPM hard drive. Next up let's take a look at the internals of this laptop. This laptop features a couple of items here that are removable and upgradable. Number one, you got your one DIMM slot for your RAM. Number two, you got the MSATA SSD. Number three, you got the Intel 7260 wireless card that is upgradable. And number four, you got your 2.5 inch 7mm traditional hard drive. What about Wi-Fi performance? The performance from the Intel 7260 has been very good. I have not had any connection issues or slowdowns. Overall, I've been satisfied with the performance from this wireless card. Next up, let's talk about temperature control on this laptop. During normal usage, the CPU averaged around 45 degrees Celsius. What about temperatures during heavy loads? Well, to put that to the test, I ran Cinebench R15 back to back for about 10 times, and the CPU averaged around 64 degrees Celsius. What about fan noise? During normal usage, I could barely hear the fan. The only time I was able to hear the fan was when I fired up Battlefield 4. Besides that, this fan has been very efficient. Alright, this concludes my review on the all-new Lenovo IdeaPad U530 Touch. If you're looking for a solid machine for schoolwork, multimedia, and some light-duty gaming, then look no further than the all-new Lenovo U530 Touch. My only cons were the average battery performance and color display accuracy. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Peace.